Hi, in today's video I will show you how to use a 3D printer to make these awesome prints onto a t-shirt. Alright, let's do this. I hope you are doing great. I will go ahead and launch Adobe Illustrator. I just recently came across this software. I've only been using it today, so I'm sorry if I'm not doing everything by the book, uh, but I will do my best. Uh, it's really not a lot of steps. It's uh, basically taking a, a, an image to make it a SVG file for us to use in our CAD software later. So let's go ahead and click File and Open. Now, you, you have to find a... a Now that's for the kids to buy ice cream. Okay, file, open. Now the, the picture or, or the image will have to be somewhat suitable for you to be to even be printable onto a t-shirt. And I have placed a few links in the description below where I'm pretty sure you will be able to find at least a few pictures. Like some of them are, are pretty lit. But we are going to start off with an easy one. So let's pick this deer or Rudolph. Now there is really not much to it. Just click the image and go to image trace and uh, expand. And now you are basically ready to export the, the image to a SVG file for the CAD software to, to recognize. But there is a few things you can do if you, if you would like. And that's go to uh, something like path and uh, outline object. No, nope. that was wrong. Oh no, I was right. Okay, so uh, go to Pathfinder Outline and uh, click on the on the white page, Beginner Alert, and you only get the outline, which uh, I guess could be useful for some pictures, uh, not for this one. You could also use something like Stroked to increase the thickness of the lines, uh, but for this one, not really necessary. So I'm just gonna. Uh, put the default settings in and go to file and click save as and the most important thing is to click down the file format and click SVG and uh, save it as uh, as uh, deer uh, no as Rudolph the deer alright this is a reindeer but it works and click OK done now let's go to the CAD software and uh, you know, surprise, surprise, I'm gonna use uh, Fusion 360 and insert SVG, click the plane, and Rudolph the deer. <whistles> Looks sexy. So why do we even need Fusion in the first place? We need to extrude our, our object and export it into a STL file for our slicer to recognize. And, uh, and that's why we are using Fusion. And all I am going to do is uh, use the extruder tool and click on the deer. And I will extrude it 0.4 millimeters and I will be using a layer height of 0.2. So we are just going to do two layers. I think that's enough. Now the final step is to simply export the deer as uh, an STL file. And let's uh, save it right here. Uh, deer. And now to the final, final step, Simplify 3D. So let's go ahead and, uh, and import our deer. Deer, it feels like I'm saying deer a lot. So we want to keep the C um, axis distance to, to 0.4 millimeters. So that's why I unchecked uniform scaling. And uh, I guess we could uh, scale it up to maybe like 180%. Yeah, make it nice and big. What I found was that you have to use the retraction vertical lift. I think this is called uh, C-hop in, in Cura or uh, repeater host. And you have to use that. Otherwise, the nozzle will be, be grinding against the t-shirt, leaving residue behind as it's moving. So it will basically be pushing against the t-shirt. So the PLA filament is fused into the t-shirt. We need no additions, no infill, no supports. The temperature I did increase to 220 degrees Celsius just to make sure that the plastic is warm and can adhere as good as possible to the t-shirt. Uh, and for that reason I did also turn off the cooling fan. Uh, the G-code, uh, yes, here, here we have the offset. You will have to increase the offset uh, for the C-axis to, yeah, maybe like one millimeter and that's because of the thickness of the t-shirt, right? 
script. Yes, here we have another important setting. Make sure that the X and Y doesn't uh, home after the print is done because that's also going to leave residue onto the t-shirt. So I use the G1 C10 that's going to raise the C axis by 10 millimeters after the print is done. That's a very useful tip, Simon. Uh, the printing speed, um, you might want to slow it down to 35 millimeters a second just to, uh, yeah, I don't really know. You could probably increase the speed. I don't think that matters. Uh, yeah, we are ready to go. Let's prepare the print and uh, it just takes 12 minutes. So uh, that's nice. All right, let's do this. I'm going to take you with me. Today I will be using the Anacubic i3 that I reviewed a while back and you guys always hit me up in the comments asking me where the CR10 is. Don't I love the CR10 anymore? Of course I do. It's just down here working on a different project. So today I will be using the Anacubic with some white PLA filament. Let's do this. It feels great. I hear you loud and clear. That's not gonna last a second in the washer. I mean, it does stick fairly well, good enough for it to be worn for a long period of time, but clearly it's not up for the washing machine. So I think hand washing is the way to go here. I do, however, have I do, however, have a few other T-shirts that I've made that I'm eager to show you because I think they are really nice. One might even say they are lit. Whoa, stormtrooper! Whoa, the four elements and my personal favorite. Oh, okay, a 3D illusion. So here comes some close-ups of the print. I know a lot of you will probably like the Stormtrooper. Personally, I really like the four elements from Avatar The Lost Airbender. But my personal favorite was uh, this 3D Illusion. It's actually just one layer, so it's really flexible. And uh, yeah, I think this will last the longest for that reason, because it flexes rather than, than cracks. I hope you found today's video interesting to watch. Please feel free to share it with your friends. I can't wait to see your creations, what you will make from this. Hit me up on Instagram or Facebook and send me your photos. That would be awesome. I hope you will have an awesome day. Bye.